Hi, my name is Joe Crawford, and I'm a chatbot copywriter and dialogue designer. Today, I'm going to be giving you an overview of the Snatchbot platform and how to go about building a basic bot. Now, I love Snatchbot for building chatbots because it's simple, it's intuitive, yet it's still extremely powerful. So let's get started. Right now, we're at the overall dashboard for Snatchbot. To start building a bot, let's click My Bots. Now this brings us to an overview page that will show all your bots and allow you to create new ones. There's one to the left that I already created, but we're going to go with Create Bot today. This will pop up a dialog box where you can put in a name for your bot or put in a placeholder and change the name later. I'm going to call mine GoBot. Now you'll see there's also a field here to start with a template. Snatchbot offers a lot of terrific templates, but in order to learn the platform, let's make our own from scratch today. So we'll click Create Bot, and here we go. Now we're brought to the main screen where our bot building will actually occur. Now you can see that there are two spots, the bot structure column where we build our interactions here, as well as the bot scheme preview, which is where you can do some of the more advanced editing and construction of your chatbot. Now that we're set up, let's start adding content to the chatbot. Each action the chatbot undertakes is called an interaction. This includes everything from sending text or an image all the way to extracting an email address. So to do this, we'll select add an interaction. This brings us to the option choose interaction type. Clicking this brings up a number of different extractions and statements that a chatbot created with Snatchbot can use. We're going to use the first one, bot statement, as it is the most commonly used within the platform and also most likely within what you will end up building. We'll give the interaction a name that helps us stay organized, especially as your bot gets built out further and has a lot of different interactions. Now this will be our opening greeting to the user, so we'll call it hello. Typing in hello and clicking enter or return, you can see opens up the edit interaction hello field along the right side. Now there are a lot of different options here. Right now we're going to focus on how you input text. So you see the bots message call out in the line beneath it. Once we click on that, we can type in what we'd like. In this case, hi, I'm Joebot. Would you like? to chat. So now that we have our text, let's test it and see what it would actually look like. To do this, we'll go back to the hello interaction within our bot structure column. Clicking on the test interaction button, which is the one I have my mouse over here and looks like a chat bubble, will open up this chat dialog along the right and simulates what it would look like in an actual chat. Now, to bookend the hello message, we'll also create a goodbye message. Once again, we're going to want bot statement as our type. Put in the interaction name, goodbye. Clicking enter opens up once again the edit interaction field along the right hand side. So here, we'll type in the goodbye message, which is simple enough. Goodbye. Now that we have our interactions and our greetings in place, let's go about actually linking the two. Because that is the overall function of a bot, and what we're looking to do is to get one message to be generated by an interaction or customer input with the other. So to do that, let's select the hello interaction that we created earlier today. To connect it, We'll go down to the blue and gray box that says, connect this interaction to others by adding a connection and click the plus sign. So before we take any action, let's understand our goal here. What we're looking to do is configure the chat bot so that if a user is asked by the greeting message if they would like to chat and answer no, they receive the goodbye message. The connection function 
works on an if-then basis. If a certain action, action is input, then another certain action is output. From the first dropdown, we'll select response to this interaction as we are basing the output on what the user types in. The second dropdown allows you to set constraints. We want contains whole word because we want to input the words a user would type to say no. In this case, we'll enter a number of responses, including no, nope, and nah. And you'll notice that I'm entering different cases here. Um, it is a case sensitive input, so it's always good to cover off all your bases. Also to separate the words and type a new one, simply press enter or return. Finally, we'll move down to the then go to line. Here, you select the name of the interaction you want this behavior you specified above to trigger. Note that this functions as a dropdown of existing interactions, meaning that you must create a name and interaction prior to linking to it. So in this case, we want to link to goodbye. So now we've set up the connection between the two bots. Let's actually see how it works. Once again, we'll click test interaction for the hello interaction. This will open up our chat dialog box and we'll get our greeting message. So for example, I'll type in no. And there we go. It triggers our goodbye response and is acting as we would expect it to. So that's the end of the video. What we've created is the absolute base functionality, but it should help you get up and running with the Snatchbot platform. It's simple, intuitive, yet powerful. Try testing out a few interactions yourself and see what you can build. Thanks for tuning in and happy bot building.